Welcome back to the channel. It is day five for us here in Glacier National Park. This will be the third video and probably our final video of us here in the park. Today we're hiking Highline Trail. We just got to the Logan Pass parking lot. Everybody always asks how early you have to get to Logan's Pass to be able to find parking because all a lot of good hikes go out of here. We left our Airbnb in Columbia Falls at 540. It is now five minutes after seven. So it takes a while to get up here. That's why you have to wake up so early, leave so early to be able to get parking. At five minutes after seven, this parking lot will be full. What do you think? 30 minutes. I would say probably in the next 20 to 30 minutes, this parking lot will be completely packed and there'll be nothing left. It's already way more full than I thought it was going to be right at seven o'clock, but it is a Sunday morning. So there's a ton of people up here. I'll show you shots of the parking lot as we're walking out to get over to Highline, but you have to get up early. Like there's just no other way around it. I don't know how you would do this. Like we're here when it's like COVID, you know, I, n maybe not a lot of people are traveling, but this park is still super packed. And yeah, I mean, we've been up every morning at either 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. The whole time we've been on this trip. And like I said, today is day five of seven. We're gonna get our stuff together, load up the backpacks and get out on the trail. Starting out here today, we're gonna go all the way out to the Grinnell Glacier Overlook. We're about a mile and a half in to Highline. Like I said earlier, back at the map, but it's just so crowded out here today. I didn't want to take up a whole lot of time. We are hiking Highline out to the garden wall, and then we're gonna hike up to the Grinnell Glacier Overlook. Round trip, it's about 15 miles. Mile and a half done. It's really chilly this morning. We're here in like mid to late August. So if you are coming, I mean, everybody pretty much says the same thing, but you should definitely pack layers because we're starting out every morning like in the high 40s. And then by the end of the day, depending on where you're at elevation wise, it can get up into the 90s. So we usually just kind of strip layers off as the day goes on. But so far this hike's really good. No wildlife yet. Tons of people on a Sunday morning. I mean a ton. This is the first time on the trail that we haven't like been backed up right to somebody else. But we'll see how it goes as we get further and further out. I don't know. I think they're frustrated. Look at the sun coming over that hill. There you go. So we are five and a half miles in 
It's the Highline Trail hike. Just about two hours and 15 minutes, pushing two and a half hours to get to this point. So far, it's not that bad. I mean, it's a long distance hike, 15 miles round trip, but if you, uh, if you've done the other ones, especially if you've seen my last video where we hiked Mount Brown, that was a lot steeper and a lot shorter of amount of time. Whereas this one, it's just, it has gradual increases, but you've got a lot of flat surfaces that you're walking on as well. See, this is kind of a gradual incline all the way across the face of this hill, but it's not too bad. That little bee was the only sign of wildlife that we've seen all day. No ram, no goats, no nothing. So we are about to the portion of the hike where we are going to hit the garden wall, which is gonna branch off of Highline Trail here. I just love the Western United States. The weather is so we're on the garden wall now. Definitely the hardest portion of this hike if you're going up to Grinnell. It's the last 0.6 miles to get to the glacier overlook and it's steep. <laughs> We're making our way back down. Couldn't film at all at the top because of how windy it was. It's definitely worth going up to Grinnell Glacier Overlook. It's really hard the last 0.6 miles. That's gonna be the toughest portion of this entire hike. You can kind of see, I showed in the last clip when we were coming down the trail, you can choose not to go up to Grinnell and stay on High Line and you can go over to the chalet, which is like an extra 0.8 or mile. I'd say it's like another mile up the trail. We didn't go up there just because this hike is already gonna be pushing 20 miles for us. We just decided to, once we got down off the glacier overlook, to start our way back to Logan's Pass. We did see some mountain goats at the top, like at the very top at Grinnell Overlook, but that's the only thing that we've seen so far. Hopefully on the way back, we'll at least see like some big horned sheep back up near Logan's Pass.
So we finally saw a bighorn sheep. He was just chilling like right off the side of the trail. Some people of course were stopped taking pictures of him. So we stopped to take pictures of him. There's only one of them though. So that was kind of odd. Like usually they're bunched in together, but we've got about three miles left to get back to Logan's Pass. So far, we're it's two o'clock in the afternoon. We did take a pretty long lunch break up at the top that you all, you know, you all saw the panoramic views, but you know, it just didn't, wasn't able to talk to the camera. So far, I think we're making pretty good time on this hike. We're averaging about a 25 minute mile and that's going up and down these crazy hills. So we're slowly but surely making our way back. What are you feeling? I feel like death death <laughs> it's a lot harder going up or down i guess i don't know which way are we going there we're going back to the car <laughs> but we're going up <laughs> i'm delirious also a group of ladies stopped us and was like oh there's a bunch of pika up on the trail and we were just like oh really that's so cool and we have no idea what a pika is and then somebody told us when we got further up it's just these like little fat ground squirrels that you see everywhere in the park that we've we've seen on all of our other hikes but you know we just refer to them as squirrels but these ladies were like blown away to see them and wanted to make sure we saw them and we didn't know what we were looking for if you see those now you know what they are because if you're like us we had no idea That's a pika, AKA a squirrel. stretch about a half mile till we're back at Logan Pass. So one point that I kind of want to make that I didn't find to be very clear at least when I was planning this trip I didn't really understand it was that the garden wall and Grinnell Glacier Overlook are all a part of Highline Trail meaning you can't get to either of them without hiking Highline. If you're like me and like to plan out which days you're gonna be doing which hikes. If you're on Highline and you're gonna actually go all the way out to the garden wall, you might as well do Grinnell Glacier Overlook and knock all three of them out. The only one that you would have left to do at that point would be go up to the chalet and maybe go down if you wanted to do the loop trail. But if you look on the All Trails app, they don't really clarify. They list the garden wall as being like a 14 mile hike, just like they do Highline. When in reality, the garden wall is just the last section of the hike to get to the Grinnell Glacier Overlook. If that doesn't make any sense yet, I will show you the map when we get back up here to Logan's Pass, the same one that I showed at the beginning when we were starting our hike this morning, and kind of clarify what I'm meaning by this because after I saw it, it made perfect sense to me and then helped me like plan out what we were actually going to do. Okay, to reference what I was talking about, this is where you start down here at Logan Pass. You follow it all the way up. You can continue on to the Granite Park Chalet. We did not do that. This last little section here is the garden wall. This is where we went. This little part right here is the garden wall trail. It's only about half a mile long to get you up to Grinnell Glacier Overlook. This entire thing that we did today is about 16 miles out and back. If you wanted to, you could start down here at the loop and go up to the chalet and then over to the glacier, but I don't know the distance of that. We didn't go all the way to the chalet today, but we saw it and you can see it in some of the video clips when we were coming down here to the fork. But yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so we're back in the car. We finished this out at 16 miles to go out to Grinnell Glacier Overlook and back to our car at Logan's Pass. It is four o'clock. We started at 7.30. So if you're gonna do this hike, I would definitely give yourself enough time. We did take a long lunch at the top. It's still a long ass way. And it's hard coming back because it's just, you're just so worn out by that time when you're coming back. It's just, it takes you a little bit longer. Well worth it if you want to plan like a full day hike while you're here in Glacier, I would definitely put this one on your list. We are headed back down to Columbia Falls to get ready for dinner, and that's where I'll close out this video. But on the way down, I will put up the GoPro and show you all some shots of going to the Sun Road on the way down. Also, at 4 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, Logan Pass actually has a lot of parking available. As you saw when I was walking down here, there's like five spots and people are leaving out. I mean, it's later in the day, that's to be expected, but I know that some people have questions in reference to if they want to do like evening hikes. Like you could definitely go up, if you got here at four or five o'clock in the evening, you could definitely do Hidden Lake and come back down before ever having to worry about it getting dark. Just something to keep in mind, but yeah, we're heading out. So we're back at our Airbnb, we're getting ready to head out for dinner, and I'm going to close out this video here. I really hope that you enjoyed our hike along Highline Trail today. I hope that it helps you plan your hike for your trip. If you have any questions in reference to this trip or the hikes that we've been on, please ask them in the comment section below or reach out to me. All of my social media accounts will be linked in the description below. If you haven't seen my two other Glacier National Park videos, I will link them in the description, and I'll also have one pop on the screen right now now so you can check that out if you haven't been following along like i said we get to go on these trips pretty frequently we won't be on one next month but the month after in october we will be in florida and we plan on going to all three national parks that are in the state of florida plan on doing a lot of snorkeling might do some trails i don't think they necessarily have a lot of what would be considered stereotypical hikes i know the everglades has some trails and just like a cool visitor center hopefully that's all open and not closed down due to covid if you like this kind of content you like this kind of information please like and subscribe to my channel more videos will be coming also my normal regular content for helping people lose weight and stay on their diets and stay motivated those videos will be back on track here shortly they will be uploaded on my channel every monday at 2 p.m so if you like that kind of content or when we get to travel please subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in the next video